This is William Golding's Freefall from 1959. I think the critical reception to this book was quite severe, it was quite harsh, and I think it's one of the books that he wrote and uh, after it was received so poorly by the press, he kind of uh, retreated from the world of literature a little bit, which is a real shame because um, it is a fantastic read. It's really enjoyable, uh, asks a lot of questions, some of which Mr. Golder himself is unable to answer. But it's this kind of book that I would um, give to people as evidence or proof if it, if it was needed uh, that he deserved this Nobel Prize for Literature when he won it. Um, the first paragraph I'll read to you um, kind of sets things up for the book and the rest of the book is almost like the resolution of that first paragraph and a half. He says, I have walked by stalls in the marketplace where books, dog-eared and faded from their purple, have burst with a white hosanna. I have seen people crowned with a double crown, holding in either hand the crook and flail, the power and the glory. I have understood how the scar becomes a star. I have felt the flake of fire fall, miraculous and Pentecostal. My yesterdays walk with me. They keep step. They are grey faces that peer over my shoulder. I live on Paradise Hill, 10 minutes from the station, 30 seconds from the shops and the local. Yet I am a burning amateur, torn by the irrational and incoherent, violently searching and self-condemned. When did I lose my freedom? For once I was free, I had power to choose. And he goes on from there. And I like how well written the first paragraph is. I don't think, though, I could have stomached writing like that throughout the course of the book. You need something more grounded, something that will, um, I don't know, peg you back to earth so that you can understand what's going on. And that comes in straight away. The mechanics of cause and effect is statistical probability, yet surely sometimes we operate be below or beyond that threshold. Free will cannot be debated but only experienced like a colour or the taste of potatoes. And it's at that point, and here we're still on the first page, it's at that point that we go from the heavenly to the earthly and we follow the story of uh, Sammy Mountjoy who somehow has lost his freedom. He's trying to think back to where that might have occurred uh, and following his passage, going through his life with him uh, is really fascinating. It covers so many important moments in history, but personal history more than anything. And William Golding is never, le and any never anything less than a really exceptional writer. So really, really worth reading. Um, four and a half stars out of five. And my strong recommendation.